Juan, well, first and foremost, the manager just said in his post-match interview, you've been working really hard the last few weeks, um, but he felt you just needed a break. So how does it feel to score the, the first goal for Falkirk today? Uh, hi, everyone. I think that's the uh, support comes from, from the team. Uh, my teammates always and every day uh, are supporting, supporting me and uh, thank you for, for them. And yes, that's the result to hard work. It was quite a, a kind of physical battle for you at times today, but you looked like you really enjoyed that. Yes, I, I think that's my role, so I, I have to enjoy. <laughs> Gary, obviously it was a, a great start for the guys as well today. First 45, probably one of our best of the season. I was really enjoy, enjoyable and I think everybody did what I got in the ball. Uh, everybody was good in the ball as well, that makes a difference. So really enjoyable, I think we were limited to a lot of chances and we, we created a lot of chances as well. And I'm delighted for one as well, getting his first goal. He's been working hard every day, finishing after training, so he deserves it. Great finish from Cal as well for the first one. Oh, it's up there the goal this season, I think that was unbelievable. He was saying before the game that he couldn't really strike the ball well today, so I think, he, I think he's happy with that one. Well, and obviously in terms of your goal, talk us through it. Uh, happy to be honest, because uh, what like I said, I have, I have work. After training, I think that's that's good. You feel good when when you when you see the results. So thank you uh, for everyone and uh, for the support. You certainly enjoyed the celebration as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it must give you a little bit of confidence now as well. The fact that you know, from a striker's point of view, that that first goal is is in the net now. Yeah, I think the the key is keep working and. Uh, uh, look like a, like it's nothing, you you know. Uh, I think as a striker you need to work every day and uh, think about every day. Gary, obviously at two 0 you know the game looked fairly comfortable. Credit to Queen of the South. Uh, I think they had a really good kind of fifteen, maybe twenty minute spell after half time. Um, what does it say about the, the character and the strength in the team that Queens did peg us back a bit, but we still saw it out? Yeah, exactly. Had that we can rope first. 10, 15 minutes after the first half. We're sometimes got to get ourselves in these situations, but as you said, we came, we came out the end of it. We, we created a lot more chances after they kind of scored. We kind of knew that we needed to up the game, and we did, and we got the, the last goal. We kind of finished the game off. And that was the thing at that point, that diving header from, from Ola. Really, to what extent did that just finish proceedings today? Yeah, I think so. 3 1 down. We, we limited a lot of chances throughout the game, I thought. And when we go 3 1 up, I don't think that we, we'd keep it quite tight at the back, and we'll see things out, and we deserve the win today. Can I ask you guys, what's the mood like in the camp generally? Is, is the confidence kind of growing now a bit, one? Not just on a personal level, but the whole team? Yeah, I think uh, the, the team is uh, have the confidence uh, high because uh, we have done the, the job and that's, that's good for us. And, uh, and Gary, obviously, you know, we, we did get that result. We did see it out, as you said. But we, you know, one thing I mentioned in the manager's interview a moment ago, how aware were you guys of the, the fans today? Because perhaps, maybe the Hibs game aside, I've not seen the stadium like that in a couple of years. No, exactly. That's what you want to see and hear as a football player on the pitch. You want to hear the fans roaring and giving us that, that extra wee push that we needed today. And I thought we were different classes, as were the fans. So it's all, it's all a good day for everyone. And does it perhaps answer a few queries that people had from outside looking into Falkirk saying, well, today was going to be a bit of a tougher test for them? You know, they had a nil-nil here against Montrose. They lost to Airdrie. How would they do against one of the better teams? Yeah, exactly, they're a, a team that's dropped down for the championship, and I thought they'd done all right last year. They were a bit unlucky to, to get relegated, so they're, they're no mugs. So, and they came here, and we, we, we dominated the game today, and we deserved the win. And Juan, just finally, obviously, you're off the the mark today. You've got your first goal. What's the the immediate goal for for next week? Is it just a case of staying in the team and hopefully do the same again next week? Yeah, I think, like I say, the the key is keep working, and the goals will come. Well, here's hoping, guys. Congratulations on the win today and thanks for your time. Cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Cheers.